Hello and welcome to Dell's Gaming. I'm Dell and this is the campaign map for From the Depths. And the way we left it last time is we cleaned up the Onyx Watch up here in the top left hand corner. And we're now looking at a new group to go after. So um, the op choices were really between the tw uh, Lightning Hoods or going up the top to the Twin Guard, and we've gone for the Lightning Hoods, which is going to be an interesting fight. Um, and various people sort of agreed on that. Um, they've got lasers and flying ships and lots of new goodies for us to try and shoot down and uh, take over. So it should be some interesting fights. Now, as you can see, some of our ships are a bit slow, the Atlantis and the Aquanautica fleet. They are coming over to set up positions um, ready to go against the uh, Lightning Hoods. But they are a bit slow, unfortunately. That is, uh, uh, unfortunately, the nature of their, their ships. So we're going to go in with what we've got first and just start the war. We're going to take in the Turtle Fleet first. Now, the first thing we've got to do is declare war against the, li against the Lightning Hoods and see what they come up with. Now, they've got quite a few forces here. We've got the Condor Legion and the Turtle Fleet, which hopefully together we'll be able to take out this 214 as our first testing sort of fleet. Uh, and this will be our first battle, and we can see what needs to be changed effectively in these ships um, to make them more effective against, depending on what we come across. Now, it's just gone night time, so I'm not going to let, just let that pass and um, uh, wait for the daytime before I start uh, going against anybody. But that should be enough, I think. So by the time we have gone into map mode, and actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the Turtle Fleet. Let's see, Turtle Fleet. I'll put myself on the Battle Cruiser because I'm sure that will be the first ship that we uh, bring in. Now if I press F1, we can come up with... Um, the factions, so you can see all of the ones which I have reduced to zero so far. So um, it was between the Twin Guard and the Lightning Hoods, and we're going for the Lightning Hoods. If you go into here, you can read about the history that the uh, um, law keepers of the law have and uh, has been written for this, and the, what they follow. We won't go through all of that. I'll let you read that on your own at some point. I'm not going to repeat all of that. It's, it's good to, little, to look through and see what it's like. If I click on the diplomacy, now the main bit here, we can see who they're not allied with anybody, which is handy. So when we declare war, we're not going to suddenly um, uh, effectively piss off someone else as well who is going to then go against us. Um, if anything, the Twin Guard is going to like us even more because uh, it looks like those two are at war with each other and also well, the Deepwater Guard's out. Uh, a couple of friendlies but no one alloyed. allied. So let's now declare war. So we can now see that we have this at Seeking Reprisal. And in actual fact, the uh, let's see, the Steel Striders have actually become alloyed with us because they really don't like, obviously, um, the uh, Lightning Hoods. Ah, interesting. So, let's go back to our map and see what's happening. So, we're going to preempt this. The far first move will be to bring our battle cruiser in. We do not know what we're going to be up against here. So, I'm going to bring the battle cruiser and also our Condor Legion in as well. Uh, we'll bring the Condor Legion in once we have seen what sort of enemy we've got. We also have the Avian Claws with lots of flying rays and the um, Carrier Fleet. So we can, they're fairly quick, so we can move them into play here once we've had a look at what sort of fight we're going to be up against here. So we're just going to get them into the area so we can, they'll start showing their forces and we'll see if we've got, they've got a lot of flyers, etc. Okay, so, whoops, let's just put it down to there and see what they, they're they coming against. Right, we've got a ton load of flying ships. Uh, Thunderbird, Cathode. Now, I don't know what these are like, uh, to be frankly honest. Lots of flying ships, so we don't need a lot of AA protection here. Which I'm thinking means missiles. Um, 
battlecruiser may not be the ideal ship for this first one, but we'll because uh, the battlecruiser is more an anti sea vessel. So uh, w the Condor Legion does have a number. Has the Air Gustav, and he's sorry. That's the carrier. We can bring them in. Uh, see Condor Legion. Condor Legion has some good anti air. The Sea Falcons um, are anti air. Uh, the Flying Rays is mainly an anti-ship. Um, possibly the Carrier Fleet. But we're just going to go in with what we've got. Let's take in the, the Condor Fleet as well. Just as an extra in here. So we want to get... Okay, we are ready to be able to do a battle. But I want to make sure our Condor Fleet is also available in play. So if we need to, we can bring in some of his ships as well. So let's just get a little closer. Okay, that should do us. So I'm going to go into the battle screen now for at the battle preparation for this first battle. Okay, uh, we want to bring in uh, that fleet as well. Come on. And if I click on there, that gives us both fleets. Okay, so... Let's see what would be good. We've got, a, we've got some sea vessels. Now, we don't know exactly what they're going to be coming in with first. Um, so, this is going to be totally... Not a shock, but it's going to be long range. I've kept it at long range, sort of purposefully. Um, now, I'm going to put in a bit, a bit of a mixed bag at the beginning. So, let's go with a missile destroyer because it's missiles which should be handy um what else would be a good in here what has got good um oh the turtle uh missile cruiser has good aa and i'm thinking some falcons the falcons were good air to air missile firing ships so uh that was their priority system so let's go with them as our primary so first of all we're going to get in let's see if we can see this it's annoying that that goes over okay so we're going to get the two missile destroyers won't get that in we might be able to get some more in i uh, don't think we'll get another missile destroyer in no we won't get the number missile destroyer what else has got good air to air um condors possibly the Turtles really don't have a good air-to-air. -air. They do have some, but it's not great. Um, let's see. The Condor has got the guns on the side, which would be interesting. And the Battlecruiser. I think the Battlecruiser would be... does have the, the AA guns as well. And, you know, its, it's guns are... and some missiles. Sorry, it's a bit difficult to see when it, when it does that. There we go. That's a bit better. Um, let's have a think. What else was that? The, I might go for the the heavy cruiser instead, and then we'll see from that point what we get to bring in and see how the battle's going against the various ships. So let's see how this goes. Um, first battle, and it is a big battle. So first battle against the Lightning Hoods, and I haven't looked at any of these. Um, uh, vessels that they are going to be using against us so i don't actually know what they look like and what we're going to have so this could be a very interesting battle and show what i need to build next now one thing i will say quickly before we go into this battle is uh i don't know if this battle will escalate suddenly hopefully not um because this is the first battle but i'm going to try and keep it down to here if we get another battle start because we've gone into areas or the ships have come in. Um, I'm not sure with this new system if I will be able to save the game and um, uh, stop the video sort of thing, but hopefully I will be able to. So, let us start. Let us, I'm going into the, uh, back into the map. Everything is spawning in, hopefully now. There we go. Now my character is not on any of the ships at the moment which is most probably all right let's go interface off let's make sure all of our ais are on yes they are now i'm going to go on to the uh, missile cruiser i think let's go on to the missile cruiser with my character just so that he adds some damage 
What have we got coming in here? That's what, what is that there? That is a... Whoops, no, that didn't work. Don't bring up this here so I can get that up. That is the Strider. With, and he looks like he's got a uh, missile uh, laser he's coming in with. But he's our missiles have taken some damage, given him some damage, hopefully. There is one, there's been some big changes to missiles in the game. And I have no idea if that's going to make my missile ships better or worse against these ships. Um, I haven't had a chance really to test them, and certainly not a chance. But it looks like the Strider is down. Excellent. Our missiles work nicely on there. What else have we got? Um, what else have we got over here? What is, what is this? Uh, hit that. Let's put the interface back on so I can aim at it. There we go. No. Uh, we've got one sh One of our ships is down by the looks of it. Okay, I'm going to get in nice and close. That's the best way. What have we got here? This is the Ampere, which is a uh, 1.3 million. So that's a big ship, this one here. So how's it, how's it going to be holding up against our ships or our ships are going to hold up against it? Uh, looks like we've got one of our ships is giving a two damaged and has had to be pulled out. So it looks like this constant um, laser from this seems to be doing us a lot of damage at the moment. Seems to be uh, really taking out my air the aircraft quite um, significantly, really. Ships are not quite working against it as I would like. Okay, looks like some of the missile... Where are the missiles firing? Some of the missiles are doing well. And, oh, we've got missiles coming in now. He has got um, anti-missile lasers. Let's see if we can overload it with a volume of missiles. We are getting some hits, which is good. It's not overly fast. We've got EMP missiles coming in there quite nicely, doing some good damage by the looks of it. If we can get some key components of this ship, then hopefully, you know, we can uh, knock out the laser. That would be the good primary importance. Sorry if I'm moving around a little bit here, but let's see with the damage. Oh, missile hits coming in quite nicely. Like that, like that. More missiles inbound. As I say, I don't know. They seem to be turning okay. They are a little faster. The main changes to the missiles have made them faster and given them a bit more range because of that. So some of my ranges on my AIs may be a bit off. It looks like we have taken out the engines and he is not firing anymore. Although, so that could be excellent. That's a good sign. We've done him some serious damage. Right, what I'm going to quickly have to do here is check if we've got any spawn points or I could bring something in. Let's go here. So next we've got this turtle destroyer. Um, we've taken some damage. Uh, it's not showing one of the vessels that said there. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, we'll leave it on that then. I might put a bring up a destroyer actually just to see how that works see if a destroyer can get it in no not at the moment right let's go back to here so this is basically being wiped out at the moment let's just see what the blocks counts like so we've got the block advantage 12 versus 7.8 which is handy it's good to have the block counter difference. I don't like to overload it too much, but um, I wouldn't want to be at 12 and like 2, because they just wouldn't get a chance to bring any ships in. But uh, this isn't too bad at all. Okay, we've got two damage, so he's going to be disintegrating fairly shortly. Uh, with any luck. Bye bye, Mr. And I've forgotten what your name is already. <laughs> Because I'm like that and I have a brain like a sieve. The Ampere. So that was very good. That Ampere was very good against my air, air targets. Air targets seem to be taken out a little too quickly by them. Didn't like that. But 
Let's make sure everything is on. Yeah, combat, combat, combat on. Sometimes when something gets repaired, the AI doesn't come back in. So what? what is that? One of their ships? That looks like one of their ships just come in. A couple of them. Let's see what we have here. I'll put the interface on so I can see what I am clicking on. This is the megawatt. So lasers a plenty. Lots of lasers. Lots of the blue lasers are the constant lasers. And he's taking out my and he's obviously got lambs as well. I have to expect that. And we've got something farming mines. What's this here? What is this? What are you? You're you're dead. That's what you is. You is you is dead, boy. You is dead. So the fireflies, um, they seem to be taken out. Although they do heal each other. Hmm, that's interesting. But this this is the main megawatt. Is the big bad ship we need to get rid of first? And he is a six thousand block ship, three million RP. So he is a he's not a small ship at all. Let's see how he does. He is... Um, that's our ship coming in with some missiles, hopefully. Although these missiles, they, they're not shooting our own white guys, are they? No, that's good. And taking out that Firefly first. The Firefly, don't stop shooting the Firefly. The Firefly is of no importance. This is the one we need to take out. How's our ships doing? Turtle Missile Destroyer and Cruiser doing very well. The aerial craft surviving, but I just don't see them as uh, that effective, to be honest, our aircraft. Right, we've got one. The Fireflies seem to be down. But our aircraft, they, they are doing damage. I think they're coming in. I'm going to keep an eye on some of them. But uh, a couple of these, they have... I think actually we're getting hit by our own missiles there. No, we have got FOFs on them. IFF, I should say. Identi ident identify friend or foe. Okay, we've taken out, obviously, looks of it, at least some of his anti missile system. And our missiles are now coming through. His main laser system still seems to be firing at something. Um, one of our ships, and. He is taking out some of our missiles. But enough are getting through. He can't take out all of them by the looks of it. So enough missiles are getting through and hitting the various targets. Um, especially since we have most of that green there, I think is our laser designated um, missiles being targeted in rather than anything else. And uh, we have some aircraft in as well. Okay, so far, not too much of a problem. Not too bad. We have... We've been luckily able to take out any key parts. But our aerial fleets, are, it'd be interesting to see what happens when we get the carrier fleet into a battle. Because that may have some problems. Um, by the looks of this. Because th th those lasers are very good at taking out aircraft. Normally, the main um, protection for my aircraft is that they are fast and, um, well, mainly fast and flying, which means that cannons and missiles usually have a few little problems trying to hit them. Um, but obviously, when you've got lasers, it hits immediately, and that seems to be the biggest problem here we will come across. Um, okay, our forces, we've got a couple that were damaged. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we seem to have all our ships still in play, although some of them seem to be in the water somewhere. So I'm sure I saw some in the water. Where the, where's it gone? This one over here. Is it a matter of you can't get up again? I think um, possibly, yeah, you're a bit stuck, aren't you? If you just got completely He's got a bit wrecked, unfortunately, and so far is not healing very well. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he's actually blowing himself up. Yes, he's sort of blowing himself up, I think, there. Um, he's trying to launch large missiles and they're not going anywhere. Uh, that's not handy. Who are you? Uh, 
Um, okay, let's not worry about that at the moment. If he dies, he dies. So... And, okay, that is now gone as well. Excellent. Okay, so what have we got coming in? Let's go to F9, so I'm ready to... to smile. And we've got... Oh, just got something in with our... Oh, what's this? This looks a bit big. This looks a bit big. The cathode. Even more points. 8,000. 4 million... Art. Three po sorry, 3.5 million. And he has shitloads of missiles as well. So he is a missile and laser. This is going to be interesting somewhat. Now, I do have flares, so if he's using AR... Eh, where are those missiles going to? I have no idea. This could be an interesting fight. He's flying. And he's firing lasers. Very disco, disco! Okay, so this, we seem to be taking a fair bit of damage now, this time. Um, we are, yeah, certainly taking a fair bit now. Um, so I'm going to take some of our ships out, which are no longer effective. He's taken out, oh, one of them's got taken out, needs 18 blocks. Uh, oh yeah, we are taking a fair bit of damage. This um, cathode, I think it was. He is doing a fair bit of damage on us. The cathode, yes, he is. Um, those lasers are ripping us up at this time, and we are not getting any good answers against him. He's doing this at range and enough anti laser to, um, yeah, basically takes out. I think he's taken out all of our flyers with either missiles and/or lasers, because the changes to the missiles. Although it is benefiting our ships, it's also benefiting the enemy ships as well. Um, so we've taken a fair bit of damage here. It looks like he is he is steadily making our way through and really, yeah, look, his own missiles are really coming in there to damage us. Um, let's see if this little uh, battery of missiles can get some damage in there or is he going to take them all out no okay we have got ah no that did some of those did not hit 
So we're getting a lot of misses with our missiles there. It seems like they're not turning uh, in time against the missiles. They're also, the ranges I think are wrong on some of the missiles in that when they could fire at those longer ranges now, they are, they're not basically. And he's taking them out quite steadily. Let's see what we can bring in. We need another missile destroyer. Let's take out that's the Sea Falcons because they are of no use at this moment. Um, we'll leave that one in. Let's see if we can get some more missiles in here um, shooting at this target. Uh, let's see what we've got. We've got one Falcon left. The Falcon, he is doing some damage. His missiles are hitting just not enough and consistently enough. We would need a lot more Falcons. Um, or just more missiles. He's got very good Alpha Strike with these lots of little missiles, which is good, but we're not firing when we could, I think. Um, where are those other ships? Uh, where's that missile destroyer? It doesn't seem to be in range. Ah, oh, there it is. Or is that... Oh, that just, I just got taken out. That's not good. Let's go for the missile cruiser. Okay, right. I'll be back once we've uh, done this launch. Right, I'm just going to get into the inside here. Uh, find somewhere to uh, sit, plunk my character down. And uh, try and heal our ship a little bit. Try and help with that at uh, this second. Uh, if I just sit myself here, as, a, as uh, for the moment, that should help just to repair it. But yeah, that's been taken out quite effectively. Um, he has significantly, this cathode has wiped out most of those um, ships so far. So what else can we bring in? We, where's the other, and, and the other missile destroyers? Our missiles are just not getting through. Now I'm not sure if it's some problem with the actual missiles because normally these fire a very large battery but I think they're it looks like he's hitting the missile launchers before they can even launch their missiles so okay what can we bring in let's bring in the heavy cruiser then so let's take that out and um, yeah we'll take him out as well let's see if we if our heavy cruiser is of any use on here and then next i think we'll try condor um, just to see whether a condor will have any effect uh, against this ship okay where is the ships where are you where are you whoops got a big spawn of something uh, let's go to my map and see what we have Oops, I flick to the other mode. Don't like it when it does that. Um, can't see what that says. It's too dark. Con is that oh the con is the con the condor's just come in. Okay, um, so we've got the heavy cruiser and the condor. Let's see what happens here. Sorry, it's dark here. Let's see if the condor the condor is normally, but it has got missiles. And it has got the uh, guns. So let's see if it can actually get some damage in here against this ship. See if it could, the missiles can do enough. I'm not... No, the, it's just... He's obviously hitting vital components before I can get any damage in, by the looks of it. Um, the LAM system on these, unfortunately, is just blowing up the ship. I reckon the missiles, whilst they're almost in the ship still. Um, let's see, what else have we got in play? What is uh, down here? So that's the heavy cruiser. So we're down to the heavy cruiser and um, he's fairly much, again, his missiles have just been taken out. Actually, we've just been hit by our own flipping missiles, uh, which is not good. So the condors, mixing condors with our sea fleet is not good. We just blew up our own ship. Okay, so we'll be taking the condor out of play then. Let's take him out. Um, okay, what's next? We are not doing well here at all. 
Okay, we're just going to have to put in everything we can, I think, and see what we can do about it. Um, I'm just bringing basically all the different ships in that are available. Um, and as they become available, they will spawn, hopefully. Right, okay, what do we need to get the battle cruiser in? Um, okay, we might be able to get the turtle cruiser. Let's see if we can get the turtle cruiser in. At the moment, we just need to get some damage. Is he... he's already at... why is he at 75% straight away? Are the missile... Are the missile systems blowing up immediately? He started at 75%. He didn't even get a chance to spawn. Um, yeah, I don't know what's happening there. Something is blowing it up before it can even spawn in. Um, yeah, that's a little strange. Not sure what's happening there. Immediately on at spawning, it was at 75%. You can see all the damage, and I don't believe that was surely not from his laser at the very beginning. Whilst it was spawning in, potentially. Um, not impossible, I suppose, that his laser got something critical at the very beginning. But it just seems a bit odd. Um, or that that ship is just fantastic very powerful um yeah his missiles are coming in now because i mean at spawn he wouldn't have even had a chance to have targeted us yet but he did all that damage before we even spawned in um i don't know if you saw it as soon as it spawned it was at 73 percent which seems a bit strange to say the least um but okay fine um I'll have to replay that and see if that is a problem. Okay, at the moment, we have no answer to this ship. Um, he is wiping our forces out. Okay, that's fine. This is what we have to um, battle against and work a solution for. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if there was some problem there with the spawning system. It does seem a little fishy, so to speak. And it should be our battle cruiser coming in now. So let's see how our battle cruiser does against this. Uh, see if where is our battle cruiser? All right, did it start with any damage immediately? Uh, no. Okay, that's that's something. It didn't start with damage uh, at the beginning. He's fired some missiles, which is good. Uh, well, we've got a turtle destroyer there. Let's put that up here okay so we did start off with some damage uh, we've got some missiles coming into him and are some of these connecting this time no those missiles did not connect they seem to just avoid the target at the last second that'd be annoying if he's got um, uh, missile decoys How's our ship doing? Actually, what we will do is we'll put ourselves on the battle cruiser. Now, I think we're going to be losing this one as well. We are doing some damage, but our missiles are just not hitting this. They are uh, they are going around it by the looks of it. Oops, let's go off that. I uh, ended up controlling the missiles there for a second. Our guns are, I'm guessing, are not uh, tracking this. No, he's, he's basically, he's, um, he's blown up most of this already. By the looks of it, let's just make sure I'm on combat. Yep. Are some of the missiles hitting? They seem to be getting close. Some of them are hitting. Some of them are, some of them are. But not enough. Not enough missiles are hitting him... Uh, to do him significant enough damage in here so our poor little fleet <laughs> is getting wiped out here yeah they're not turning you can see they're coming in and then they get to a point and then they turn away um, possibly that these are these aren't air-to-air -air missiles these are designed for uh, 
against ships, so they didn't have a lot of turn on them. And the guns, I'm guessing must have taken out the AA guns already, or they're not, they're just not firing. Um, okay. Let's see what we can do. Um, ooh. We're not doing well here at all. Let's, um, looking at what we could bring in. Okay, I'm just going to play this through now, because obviously, yeah, we're going to lose this. We're going to lose this. Um, but I'm going to play it out and see what we need to improve. So, okay, first thing that we need to improve is our air-to-air -air defenses. We don't have a, effectively, a dedicated air-to-air -air ship, which is good against these flying, uh, long-range flying laser ships. Um, so we need to find some sort of um, system against this type of ship. Now we've got some little, these these little, um, the little pursuits, etc. Their guns, I don't think, fi fire up enough. So they're going to be fairly much cannon fodder, unfortunately. Uh, which is a bit disappointing. Yeah, okay, I think what I'll do is... Um, Whoops, got taken out there. We'll spawn back at the point, but I just won't go onto a ship this time. See you in a second. as well so uh, basically our lambs the lamb systems on there I'll do some testing uh, but it looks like the lamb systems are blowing up our missiles in the missile launcher and that's basically destroying us uh, the whole ship before it can even fire its missiles effectively well, it gets a couple off but uh, that's it okay so that's the end of that battle just waiting for the um, end of battle to come up but we, I, this is a totally different enemy compared to the Onyx Watch. So it was, was expected that we would have to build a whole different type of a vessel against um, this enemy. Right, what I will do when I can is retreat my forces backwards. So we are ready um, against this enemy. Let's see, where are we? Where are we okay, well, we don't have to just click retreat. Can't retreat yet. Um, yeah, let's just end the battle. There we go. We're going to map mode. And what I will do is simply bring these back. Although, okay, um, I'm mostly going to stop the video here, even if this won't let me stop the video, because these forces 
yeah, see, it's blockaded those forces. But if it starts a battle, I basically there's nothing in that fleet to fight against. Uh, so uh, if they get destroyed, then far, fine. Uh, I will um, halt it now. Um, let's put this on point one. Okay, so um, got to do a lot of building. Um, looks on various fleets against this new laser threat. That cathode, the first ones were okay. The smaller ones uh, were okay. We did manage to take them out with a few missile shots. So it was looking quite good against their surface ships. We were um, quite good. Their aerial ships though, which is a, an area we haven't had to fight in some time. We were having significant issues with. Uh, the main area we need to, I need to uh, design around is uh, the anti-missile system seem to um, take our missiles out and basically blow up the rest of the ship. So um, that's of no good. So basically if our own, we're basically we're getting destroyed by our own missiles. Uh, you know, I know it's 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 a, it's a game, but theoretically, you know, you would hatch the miss the launch the system the missile would actually have to launch and be in the air to be targeted. You can't target something before it's actually in the air. But anyway, it's a game. I'll have to work around that. It just makes the la that laser system very powerful. Choices are, I can um, use the same myself, create my own anti-missile system, and use it against them. Um, to hit their missiles before they leave the ship. So that's a possibility. Um, number two, which, uh, which I don't want to do because that's a little easy. Um, it's using lasers and I want to find a missile system. I'll say it's easy. It, it is easy. You just build a land system, that's it. Done. It's no, no real design effort required. I think I'm going to look at missile system. A boat, which is an anti-air... Uh, specifically anti-air system for the turtle fleet I will for the condors uh, the condors were an anti-ship maybe I'll have to put some sort of anti-laser system on them with um, some possible smoke system might help them a little bit um, battle cruiser Battle cruiser could possibly use smoke, um, but yeah, yeah, that could possibly use smoke on it, just to help to make it um, uh, defend against the laser system. Some of the other ships as well, uh, but I think I'll, I'll leave those ones and they'll possibly not be a rebuilt and pulled back into into uh, battle until we've got a, a dedicated a air to air or surface to air. Um, a missile ship um, or two that we can bring in something around the the unless we take a uh, missile destroyer and rework it the missile systems I also need to protect the missile systems so that if they do get hit they do not blow each other up um, I think next what I might do is just try say one of the the, the two aerial aerial fleets possibly put the um, carrier fleet we might bring that down into here as well as the avian we might as well give them the whole lot and then test all of our our fleets out and see what I need to totally rework on all of these fleets to make them work so uh, yeah we'll, we'll bring all of them in and then event hopefully eventually the aqua we'll see how our subs with the aquanautics uh, do against uh, these targets uh, and obviously the Atlantis um, I'm not too hopeful for the Atlantis but we'll see how that works also in uh, this particular environment so okay good battle good that we've come against a totally new type of um, uh, force that we have to work against right I'm going to try and save this game here before this battle goes on if I need to then I will have to and I think we would lose uh, missile cruiser and uh, turtle pursuit I think so that's been more luckily we've got a fair bit of metal now so we can rebuild our forces but um, please expect the next video to possibly um, 
be on the new ship to and we'll test it against that cathode so we'll build something specifically to combat this cathode and see what we come up with so hopefully it was an interesting ins insight into lasers and the lightning hoods um, hopefully that was interesting to watch um, any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comments below um, always welcome you know what you think I should do is a miss would you like to see um, try and continue to make this work without resorting to lasers um, so look at ways of using cannons and or um, missile systems to counter the enemy rather than just getting lasers or is building my own laser ships you think the uh, the answer um, yeah you know it, I'm a bit split on that at this moment um, we've still got other ships you know I don't want to you know if anyone's seen what the way I do things now I never do things the normal way I like to make it difficult for myself so that's why we have failures we also have failures to realize how we can build something and get design um, to make it work um, a bit better next time anyway please click that like button and subscribe but until next time keep playing keep building and have fun <laughs>